Hello, my name is Talon, and welcome to my channel. This is War Thunder. Um, I decided to take a break from Pillars of Eternity. I don't want to get burned out and not finish the content so you all can view it. Uh, War Thunder is one of my more favorite games to play. I have about 2,500 hours on the PC with it and thought, hey, maybe I could install it on the PS4 and start completely over. Because <laughs> I like... Uh, I like punishing myself, I guess. Um, that's not true. I, I love War Thunder. It is a great war game, great shooter. The biggest issue I have with it is how much of a grind it is. And now that I've grinded so much on my PC, just to have to start over is a bit aggravating. But I cannot, for the life of me, figure out how to update or, I guess, um bring my PC account onto the PS4, but it's completely alright. Um, a little bit about War Thunder before I get into a match. War Thunder is a simulating, or a simulator shooter war game where two teams go at it on objectives. Most of the time it's uh, just be the one team with the most, you know, with the last planes in the air or the last tanks. Uh, yes, there is different vehicles, multi-vehicles in this game, ranging from airplanes to tanks to ships to the newest thing that is now helicopters, uh, all the way ranging from pre-war, which is the end of World War One, all the way to Korean, and now you can actually say modernized weaponry. Um, well, sort of modern. Like, the Americans and the Russians have their most up-to-date, well, almost up-to-date vehicles, the tanks, uh, the Americans get the M1 Abrams, and the Russians get the T-80. They do also get the uh, helicopters that we still use today, such as the AH-1Z Zulu Cobra, and the Russians get the Hind, but uh, I'm nowhere near getting those, so I'm not even going to show them off unless you all actually request it. I will be playing Air Arcade only for the fact that I am very, very low. Um, I'm just starting as the Americans on this uh, on this account. Um, I'm choosing the Americans for two reasons. No, it's not because I'm American, so I have to you know show my pride. In fact, if I was actually going to do that, I would choose Britain. Britain is my top favorite country to play. Um, yes, there are. Uh, all the countries of the World War. You have Germany, Rus Russia, uh, U.S., Britain, Japan, Italy, and France. Each has their own unique uh, tech trees, and each has their own unique play styles. America is one of my favorite play styles. I am really not the greatest at it. I am trying my hardest to get back into learning how to fly American planes. The American planes are just beautiful to me. Um, some are just kind of clunky, especially the little pea shooters for the end of World War One. but the American planes are very beautiful to me. They also have the, well in my opinion, they have the most universal armament. You either have the, th um, you're either using a 30 caliber machine gun or you're using the 50 caliber machine guns. Um, yeah, there's a couple of airplanes here and there that do get 20 millimeter cannons. Uh, those are very, very powerful. I love using them, but most of the World War II aircraft use the Browning 50 cals. You don't have to worry about a lot of bullet drop. You don't have to worry about running out of ammo because you're using these big caliber rounds. You're just using 50s. And you know that a 50 is going to whittle away and shred through any aircraft that it's pointed at. Same can be said about the 30 cals, just uh, they're a little bit slower, but yeah. The other, I already said it, but the other reason is I love the way they fly. They are very uh, boom and zoom, which they use energy fighting to their advantage, meaning they will collect as much energy as possible, get high, high altitudes, zoom down like a uh, the way I like to picture it, it's eagle swooping. <laughs> um, you climb way, way, way up, zoom down at a target, 
shoot, if you hit or miss, you don't really continue to turn and burn or dogfight with the target. You pull up, extend away from the target, loop around, and do the same thing until the aircraft is or the enemy is destroyed. Um, unfortunately, the uh, American aircraft excel at uh, team tactics. Um, I am not in a squadron at the moment. I do have a buddy of mine who plays. He's just not on at the moment. Uh, maybe later on I'll see about getting a couple of videos of me and him working together. We do really well together, especially in realistic battles where in realistic ARB you, f you only get one aircraft, one life, meaning you have to make sure that you use that uh, life to the best of your advantage, just like you would in real life, obviously. Um, if your airplane gets destroyed, you're out of the match. Alright, enough of me talking. I can talk hours about this game. Let's get into a game. Alright, let's see. We're going to use stealth rounds and stealth rounds. Um, the reason why is the ammo belt, the ammo uh, placement is ones that I actually prefer. Um, the other reason why I use stealth rounds is for the fact that I can shoot at a target and they won't see it coming. So... I can shoot at an enemy airplane or an enemy uh, player and he won't know what direction to evade in because he can't see my tracers. So this is Air Arcade, the objective is Siphon, so we have to go, or well, ground, uh, ground strike, so we have to actually target, I'm gonna go after this guy, we have to target uh, enemy ships, which are landing craft and armored cars, and blow them up. In Air Arcade, airplanes don't really act realistic. I can make some maneuvers that I shouldn't be able to without having energy or inertia. Um, you'll probably see here in just a few minutes. It is very fast paced as well. As soon as I get... Uh, nope, bad target, bad angle. Let's go back up. And loop around. This Nimrod's trying to get me not gonna let him go all right let's loop up again all right well it is arcade so I don't have to, a lot of dang let's go save this guy war cookies and he's gone Oop. oh he crashed right into it well not my fault I went and saved him and he crashed right into the into the uh, remains of the airplane That's another one down, pilot snipes. Alright, let's see if I can get this guy. Yep, on fire. Let's uh, throttle back up. And extend away. Let's look behind us, there is no one behind us. Oh no, that's not true, there is a KI-10. Um, Alright, good, he's not. Let's extend up. over um, uh, so if you're curious as to how I'm playing I am playing mouse and keyboard um, it's the only way that I would uh, uh, would play this game I have tried playing on the ps4 controller it is incredibly difficult to fly I can I cannot fly with a uh, controller if others can <laughs> more power to them because I cannot. I have had to hook up my controller or my mouse and keyboard to my PS4 just to be able to play it. So let's see if I can get this guy. Alright. Um, in our air arcade, whoa, whoa, whoa. Go up. Go up, 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 up. In air arcade, obviously, besides the. Oh, bad, bad, bad. Yep, he's gonna get me. Yep, he got my engine. Gosh darn it.
Oh, I'm not gonna pull out of that. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I pulled out of that. I'm not sure how I did. He didn't get me right here. You know? Oh well. Not really much I could do. He, you know, got a good shot and got my engine. And really, I, Gaijin makes a beautiful game. Uh, they make. I, I love War Thunder, but I feel like they go on full stupid when it comes to the physics after you lose your, you know, if you get a it shot in your engine. Um, I don't know about you, but in science, if something, you know, is going in motion, it remains going into that motion until it slows down. Gaijin, the creators of this game, think that as soon as your engine gets shot, you fall out of the sky don't have any inertia, you don't have any speed or lift, you just literally fall out of the sky like you're a rock. Um, I don't know, sorry, I just don't think that's not how it would work. I've gotten pretty um, salty and quite a bit of matches because a stray round hit my, you know, hit my engine and I just fall out of the sky. When I know I could have, I know I could have been able to pull out, land, do a lot of other things. I'm um, sure if I was more in the key bindings, I could probably set up key bindings, do feather my prop, and some other things. But that's just a lot of work. He's just gonna do some weird little aileron roll. Let's go up. Up, 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 and rudder kick. Kick my rudder. Back down. I foobarred that. <laughs> um, yeah, these airplanes fly really weird. Um, this aircraft does have two 30 cals, if you can't hear it. I love this. I don't really love this aircraft, but okay. There's way too many blues, too many blueberries. Uh, that's another thing about um, realistic battles that are not really that I do like. I like realistic battles for the fact that we don't have this. We don't have the swarm tactics. <laughs> um, I get it. It's air arcade. People want to get kills. If you get kills, you gain uh, money and research points. Research points gives you the chance to obviously get new vehicles. That's one. I screwed that shot up again. Let's loop over. Watch those sh three shots. go got his tail reload in air flip over watch this guy oh, I got another one on me and we're gonna get this ki-10 I'm out of shots. I right, jammed my guns. That's what happened. So yes, you also have weapon maintenance. Um, I'll show that at the end. You get experience points for your pilots and tank crew uh, that you can allocate into wherever you would like. This must be a AI. Yeah, he must be an AI, which uh, is a bit embarrassing that I can't kill this guy really easily since he is an AI. But well. Yeah. Really? Okay, well. And that's another thing that happens in um, Air Arcade. People collide in you. I'm sure he probably tried to avoid it. I'm not going to be too upset about it. I did kind of slow down to a crawl, making those weird, uh, weird maneuvers I shouldn't be making. We're about to win. We just have to blow up one more armored car, which is, well, was right there. There we go. Really cool war pictures of a T-34-85. 
hiding behind a panther. So there we go. I got seven air kills, two assists, four criticals. I hit 38 times. I probably shot a lot more bullets than I hit. I got eye for an eye, fighter rescuer, the best squad, which pfft, I got a portrait of a woman pilot, and I got the Asiatic Pacific Campaign Medal. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Um. So I researched a new airplane, the P-36A. Awesome. We will order it. Yes, I will. We shall put it right here. Very nice. And the next airplane that we're going to unlock, um, we'll do the F-3F flying barrel. Just because I want to go down the the naval aircraft as well. I I am one of those weirdos. I love the naval aircraft. They um, actually have some pretty pretty fun aircraft in there compared to the Air Force or yeah you know, the Air Force based uh, airplanes. And we'll grab the engines and we'll grab the new seven point or the seven millimeter guns. Alright, so before I end, I will show what I'm talking about. So you can go to crew, and in crew, you actually get points, crew experience points. I have 53 of them that I can put anywhere in uh, this. We have keen vision, awareness, G tolerance, stamina, and vitality. Uh, keen vision obviously allows the uh, visual range of where you can spot enemy airplanes. Uh, awareness is uh, the detection radius on your radar map kind of weird but it helps G tolerance is exactly what it says uh, the tolerance of G uh, maneuvers if you take a you know, too sharp of a turn a dive or you know, a climb uh, your pilot can and will black out and if you pull too much of a G turn you can kill your pilot like outright uh, stamina is exactly the same thing it also helps with um, um, G tolerance decay so if you do black out stamina will help you wake up faster and vitality is how much hit points your pilot has how many you know shots you can take it doesn't really help too too much it, Gaijin does like to try and be realistic you know a 30 millimeter round pierces through your canopy and hits your pilot you're going to be tomato paste sorry <laughs> Um, defensive armament is mostly for bombers. It tells you how many experienced gunners that you have. You can purchase more. Their accuracy, their precision, and the tolerance, stamina, and vitality of the gunners as well. Logistics, logistical services is exactly that. It, you can repair uh, your aircraft. So you can actually pay with my money. I can pay to just have the vehicles repaired. Most of the time that's what people do. Or you can wait a certain time and it will repair on its own depending on your crew skill. Reload speed is for arcade only. It's, uh, well, no, it can be on for uh, realistic as well, but reload speed is how fast it takes for your weapons to reload, either in the air or if you land on the ground. And weapon maintenance is how fast your guns will jam. Well, won't jam, I guess. I'm gonna go back to pilot. And the first thing that I like to do is I like having G tolerance and keen vision. Um, we'll do the last points in awareness. Uh, I like having these three up just because I like being able to spot targets far away. I like being able to know what's around me. And I don't want to pass out if I make these really silly turns. Um. There we go. That would be my first video of War Thunder. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and because I will probably be making a couple more videos on it. And if you did, please let me know in the comments down below and like and subscribe to 